welcome to Professor Outdoors. It's early October and it's a little uh, midweek pick-me-up on a day I have off after the midterm <laughs> exam, thank goodness, uh, for my large classes. And I'm out here at Dalton Pond up in Jackson County. I was here in March. Uh, there were no fish in there then. Should be stocked now. Uh, it is a little weedy, but it looks really beautiful. And I am here with Lenka today, and as you can see, we've got pretty great uh, tailgating right next to the pond setup. We've uh, got some snacks, and it's going to be delicious. And there's, there's a raptor circling around overhead. Um, but other than that, we have the place all to ourselves. So, uh, my birthday was a week or two ago. I got my first big boy spinning reel, uh, Shimano Stratic. It's really nice. It was on clearance at Finn and Feather in Iowa City. Shout out to Joey at Finn and Feather for hooking me up with a great deal. Um, and I really like it. So while I usually fly fish, I think I'm going to try that out here today. It can cast a mile, it seems like. So here we are. Um, it's 82 degrees in October. It's really warm. It's been a drought year. Uh, it's getting chilly this week. It's going to be down in the 50s. The wind is blowing in. We'll try to take some drone pictures today if I can get the little drone working in this wind and uh, take some lovely pictures of this beautiful pond here fed by springs. And of course, lots of, lots of pictures of Lenka. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you guys haven't figured this out yet, Quick Start Chicken Tenders, not only delicious, but a heck of a deal. Lenka likes them too. So, a little picnic here on the banks of Dalton Pond, and then I'm seeing a lot of fish rising, so then it's time to fish. Up in the middle of the pond here, you can see we've got a lot of weed growth, and so I was reading the DNR actually drains this a couple times a year to control this uh, weed growth in here, but I'm finding with this uh, Panther Martin spinner, I can cast it out and reel it across the top. No strikes yet, but beautiful. Time and Lenka is surely having fun going around the spring pond. It's a weekday, so there's nobody out here but us, which is fine with us. Hey, I have got one. <laughs> I don't have a tripod. Oh, I don't have a tripod. I prioritize filming over reeling in. Dang it. Well, we know they're here. We know they're biting. Uh, felt like a good-sized trout. Man. Just kind of kicking myself there. Probably should have reeled him in. <laughs> well, we know they're here and they're biting, so back to the Panther Martin spinner. Nuts! As I'm fishing here after I lost that one, um, seeing more and more rises and actually some fish kind of tailing through here. This is a pretty shallow uh, little pond slash lake. Um, they do stock it with catchable size rainbows. And that's what I think I'm seeing. I'm seeing some kind of dark fins on top. So this is getting pretty exciting. It's a warm day with a cold front coming. I didn't know if they'd be really hitting at all, but they are. I had another really good follow here, and then I got caught up in the weeds. So uh, there's another rise over there. They look active. Maybe I'll have a fish to show you if I actually reel it in this time. So right here, <laughs> you can see it. We have a rainbow trout I just brought in. And it's slipped off right at the shore. Oh, there he goes. Uh, it was really pretty. It was really dark. So that was a that was a great fight. Had him out here. Uh, Lenka! Lenka, come back! So, making this more interesting, we've been smelling a skunk here. Good girl. Okay, stay. Okay, so that was an extremely exciting little event we just had there. Hooked a big rainbow about halfway out. Uh, fought like crazy, jumped a whole bunch. It's really exciting. It got me down in the weeds. I was pulling around there. Um, this new, this new reel that I have, the Shimano Stratic. I, I really love this. This is just fantastic. Um, it apparently was normally two hundred dollars. They're coming out with a different color, so it was on clearance for one sixty. Um, had to get that. Never have spent anywhere near that much on a reel. It has seven ball bearings, which. As a kid, even one ball bearing was out of my price range. So this is kind of neat. I'm 45 now. Um, I got, got a real reel. Uh, it actually is a totally different 
fishing experience because normally when I spin fish, you know, you're reeling in a spinner, you set the hook, and you feel the bail kind of clack back to whatever the next stop is on there. This has the infinite anti-reverse, which every reel says it has, but I don't think most of them do. Normally you've maybe got eight points or four points around the spool, maybe even two, and so you'd always feel kind of a clack and then have slack, and that's where I would often lose fish. Uh, this one, you're reeling, and then all of a sudden you're just reeling a little harder. Um, fighting the fish was incredible. I mean, I felt like I had ample power to bring him in on the four pound test, and without him, you know, wearing himself out and doing a whole bunch of crazy things. I tested this first at home on my pond. I have pretty big hybrid bluegills and crappie, and same experience. It just feels like wow, I'm actually probably going to win this fight with the fish instead of the other way around. So, that's neat. I haven't done any spin fishing in quite a while, and now I'm really enjoying it. Um, as I mentioned before, we smelled a skunk, lost track of Lenka while I was fighting the fish. She's fine. No skunk, but we're going to keep an eye out. Look at this nice, big, dark rainbow trout. There's a pod of them out there. They're going crazy. I'm going to get them back in the water. Okay, now things are getting crazy. Uh, after I released that last one, I caught one on the next cast, then missed one on the next cast, then caught one on the next cast, and uh, I didn't film those. This isn't, you don't need to see a bunch of me catching fish or just my forearms catching fish like a lot of YouTube channels. Uh, you don't tune in for the fishing, you tune in for Lenka and the commentary. But uh, as I threw it out in the middle here, uh, I had like several chasing it, and then something big hit it and rolled. It looked like the Loch Ness Monster in here. Kind of wondering if they stuck a brood trout in here. Um, it's the end of the year. It could, it could be. This thing was massive. I had it hooked. It started taking drag off, and then it went. So I don't know if it just swiped it a little or if I caught the tail or what, but man, this thing was big. Uh, if I catch that, I am going to try and film it. All right, back to the fishing. So here we are at the cold springs that are the source of Dalton Pond. There's Linka. And there are actually two springs. Comes down here into a little spot. And there's one coming up there. One coming out here. And they go into the pond. If you watch my video from March, this area was kind of rocky and bare when I was here uh, before the fishing season. Now it's kind of grown in with some jewel weed, um, some nice shade trees, and things like that. Uh, I caught quite a few fish, had to be at least five or ten. Uh, and then I noticed they were getting pretty stressed in the fighting and the landing. Even though this is a put and take fishery, which means it's expected that you will take these fish and eat them, which I don't do. Um, I thought ethically it was time to stop fishing. It's an individual ethical choice everybody can make. You're allowed to take a limit of, of five. Um, but I just I decided that was good enough. So I'm here at the Cold Springs. Um, got Lenka with me. And I think Cold Springs are one of the most sacred healing places in the world. So we're going to hang out here. Link is going to get a drink of ice cold spring water, and it is ice cold coming out of here. Going to try to get some drone footage and then head on back home. A nice midweek adventure here near the little town of Preston, uh, east of Makokoda on Dalton Pond. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Professor Outdoors. Hope you find a place to uh, get some happiness and peace in your day.
as I was getting ready to leave, I met this gentleman named Steve, who says he's the caretaker and does the mowing here. He said that they do put some brood stock in here every now and then, and that he was here one day when somebody caught one, or hooked one, that was about a six or seven pounder, right here by the old dam. Um, he said he's been uh, mowing here for about 20 years, and he uh, really likes to come down and fish. Told me he could hook five fish and five casts, which he absolutely has done. I was flying little Joan over there, got some footage of him fishing, which I hope will be cool. Uh, also, the controls on this drone are totally different than my other one. Managed to actually splash it down in the water, but I got it right up again and flew it out. So, incredible. Alright, well, another great day trout fishing in Iowa. Dalton Pond, Jackson County, Iowa. Beautiful fall day. It may be hot today, but fall is in the air. Have a great week, and uh, thanks again for tuning in to Professor Outdoors.